Bassi Rufaini's rise from relative obscurity to the brink of Senegal's presidency exemplifies the unpredictable nature of political fate. As a former tax inspector, Faye's rise to become Ousmane Sonko's trusted lieutenant and PASTEF secretary general demonstrates his adaptability and dedication to the party's cause. Unlike Sonko, whose charismatic persona and passionate rhetoric have won over the country's disillusioned youth, Faye exudes a more reserved and austere demeanor. The detention and subsequent disqualification of Sonko from running in the presidential elections marked a watershed moment in Faye's political career. This unexpected development thrust Faye into the limelight, prompting him to step out of his former boss shadow and take charge of the party's electoral campaign. Despite his low profile and unassuming demeanor, Faye's resilience and determination allowed him to navigate Senegal's complex political landscape and emerge as a formidable presidential candidate. His victory on his 44th birthday represents a remarkable rise from incarceration to the highest levels of power, establishing him as an unlikely but significant figure in Senegalese politics. Ousmane Sonko's endorsement of his former deputy, Basiru Dio Maye Fadye, ahead of Senegal's delayed election carried significant weight, despite the lack of fiery rhetoric typically associated with political endorsements. Sanko's rationale for supporting Fogye was pragmatic rather than emotional, emphasizing her competence, integrity, and educational background. Sanko emphasized Fogye's qualifications in a video message, stating that his support was based on rational considerations rather than personal feelings. Sanko's endorsement helped to strengthen Fogye's credibility and suitability for the presidency, especially given Sanko's own disqualification from the election. Despite admitting that his choice of Fahye was not motivated by emotion, Sonko praised Fahye's honesty and competence, describing him as a worthy successor to lead the party and the country. Fahye's academic achievements, including academic excellence in school and the completion of a law and master's degree from Dakar's prestigious Chaik Anta Diop University, bolstered his credentials and suitability for the presidency. This endorsement, while lacking in emotional fervor, provided Fahye with a critical stamp of approval from a prominent figure in Senegalese politics, boosting his credibility and legitimacy as a presidential contender. Fahye's academic career began in 2004 when he passed the rigorous entrance exam for Senegal's prestigious National School of Administration, a well-known institution responsible for training the country's top civil servants. Faye, who specialized in tax inspection, honed his financial skills and knowledge, laying the groundwork for his future career in public administration. Faye's career took an unexpected turn in April 2023, when he was arrested on charges of contempt of court and defaming magistrates. Despite these legal challenges, Faye maintained his innocence and defended his right to participate in the political process. While his close associate and party leader, Ousmane Sanko, faced similar legal issues and was eventually barred from running in the elections, Faye's candidacy remained intact. This tenacity in the face of adversity demonstrated Faye's unwavering dedication to his political goals and determination to advocate for change in Senegal's political environment. Despite his incarceration, Faye's candidacy received strong support from within his party, PASTEF, and beyond. His nomination for president while still in prison reinforced party members' belief that he was a formidable candidate capable of challenging the status quo. Even attempts by the ruling coalition to challenge Faye's candidacy were ultimately unsuccessful, reinforcing his status as a legitimate contender in Senegal's political landscape. Basiru Dio, Maye Faye's presidential campaign received significant support from a diverse coalition of over 100 political parties, as well as notable figures such as former Prime Minister Aminata Tour. This coalition, led by the slogan Dio Maye Moi Sonko, emphasized the continuity and shared vision of Faye and his incarcerated mentor, Ousmane Sonko. The endorsement from such a diverse group of political entities demonstrated Faye's ability to rally various factions around his candidacy and galvanize support across Senegal's political spectrum. The momentum of Faye's campaign was boosted by a general amnesty law passed prior to the elections, which allowed both Faye and Sonko to be released from prison.
Their triumphant return to Dakar was met with joyous celebrations as thousands of supporters gathered to greet them. Faye and Sanko embarked on an intensive campaign trail, traveling across the country, holding rallies and caravans that drew large crowds of enthusiastic supporters. Despite criticism of Faye's perceived lack of experience in government affairs, voters such as Saidi Lamine Baji continued to support the candidate. Baji's rejection of such criticism reflects a broader sentiment among Faye supporters, who value Faye's integrity, leadership abilities, and alignment with Sanko's anti-establishment agenda over traditional notions of political experience. This surge in grassroots support, combined with the endorsements of established political figures and parties, propelled Fahye to a decisive victory in the presidential election. Saidi Lamine Baji's unwavering faith in Basiru Dio Maye Fahye's integrity and commitment to his promises reflects the deep trust and loyalty that many Senegalese voters have shown to the newly elected president. Despite some concerns about Ousmane Sonko's potential influence on Faye's presidency, supporters such as Baji continue to believe in Faye's ability to lead with dignity and independence. Baji's emotional response demonstrates Faye's deep connection with his supporters, who see him as a symbol of hope and change in Senegalese politics. Faye's refusal to reveal Sonko's potential role in his future government reflects his desire to assert his independence and establish himself as a unique leader. By emphasizing the breadth and diversity of his coalition, which includes over 120 individuals and parties, Faye hopes to dispel any doubts about his ability to govern effectively. He dismisses concerns about the possibility of two competing figures vying for power, claiming that in a presidential system, only one person ultimately takes the presidency. Faye's assertion of his singular authority as elected president demonstrates his determination to lead Senegal with decisiveness and clarity of purpose, regardless of perceived external influences. Basiru Dio Maye Faye's release from jail on March 15, 2024, marked a significant turning point in his presidential campaign, symbolizing a newfound momentum and determination to challenge the political status quo in Senegal. His first public appearance as a presidential contender drew hundreds of enthusiastic supporters, signaling widespread grassroots backing for his candidacy. The endorsement from former President Abdoulaye Wade and the Senegalese Democratic Party, PDS, on the same day provided a crucial boost to Faye's electoral prospects, adding considerable political clout to his campaign. The decision by the PDS to throw its support behind Faye came after its own candidate, Karim Wade, was disqualified from the race due to his dual citizenship status at the time of submitting his candidacy. This unexpected turn of events reshaped the political landscape and positioned Faye as a leading contender for the presidency. Additionally, Cheikh Tidian D's withdrawal from the presidential race in favor of Faye further consolidated support for his candidacy, creating a unified front among opposition forces rallying behind Faye's bid for the presidency. These developments underscored Faye's growing appeal and the widening coalition of political forces coalescing around his campaign, setting the stage for a highly competitive and consequential presidential election in Senegal. Throughout the presidential campaign, Basiru Dio Maye Faye has articulated a comprehensive platform focused on addressing pressing issues facing Senegal and promising tangible reforms. Central to his campaign pledges is the commitment to job creation, recognizing the importance of providing employment opportunities to combat poverty and promote economic growth. Additionally, Faye has campaigned vigorously against corruption, highlighting the need for transparent governance and accountability in public office. He has pledged to re-examine energy contracts, signaling his determination to ensure fair and equitable agreements that prioritize the interests of the Senegalese people. Running under the slogan, Dio Maye Mui Ausmain, which translates to Dio Maye is Ausmain in Wolof, Faye has sought to leverage the charisma and popular appeal of his former boss, Ausmain Sanko, particularly among Senegal's youth demographic. By aligning himself with Sanko's legacy and ideals, Faye aims to capitalize on the widespread support garnered by Sanko in the 2019 presidential election. Moreover, Faye's program closely mirrors Sanko's platform from the previous election, 
emphasizing continuity and consistency in their political vision for Senegal's future. As part of his campaign strategy, Faye has demonstrated a commitment to transparency and accountability by releasing a declaration of his assets and calling on other candidates to do the same. This gesture underscores his commitment to ethical leadership and integrity in public service, resonating with voters' demands for honesty and trustworthiness in political leaders. Faye's emphasis on transparency aligns with his broader agenda of reform and renewal, positioning him as a credible and principled candidate dedicated to advancing the interests of the Senegalese people. So, is President-elect Faye going to lead and usher in a new era of prosperity for the Senegalese people? That is left to be seen subsequently. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and also subscribe so more people can see this.